Hi everyone, it's Carol from Sonoma Lalem. I'm going to do another teaching today on self-compassion. And this time it's about how can we be there for others without losing ourselves? How can we stay connected to ourselves and still be able to care for others at the same time? It seems like with the pandemic, as the days go on, um, for many of us, you know, there's new stressors on top of the old stressors and things are just kind of piling up. And, and it's easy to find ourselves more worried, more concerned for those that we really care about and love who are struggling or in pain. So having empathy for people is a really good quality, you know, caring for them, being concerned. Um, but it can backfire on us if we're not careful. And the reason that empathy can backfire on us is that if someone that we know really well is in pain and we're connected to them, we can feel that pain in our body as if it's our own. It's not our own, it's theirs, but we feel it. We really can feel it and it's uncomfortable. So what we often try to do is we will work hard to try to fix their problem. Or on the other hand, we, can, we might just shut down to try to avoid it completely so that we don't have to feel that discomfort of, of the pain, of their pain. So how do we stay connected to them in a healthy way? Well, kind of surprisingly, it's, it's about staying connected to ourself um, and take care of our own distress that we're feeling um, because of that empathy and have compassion for ourselves. So this teaching today is about staying connected to our breath. So rather than worry, you know, getting into that state of worry and, and real concern, one of the things that we can do is when we breathe in, we breathe in compassion or care or kindness or warmth for ourselves. So we breathe it in, something good for us. And when we breathe out, we visualize the other person and we breathe out something good for them. So compassion or kindness or strength, whatever it is that they need. So we breathe in for me and out for you. Something good for me, something good for you. And that way we take care of both of us. So to try this, I invite you to lower your eyes, if that's comfortable, and focus your attention on your breathing. So feeling yourself breathing in and feeling yourself breathing out. And first breathing compassion in for yourself, and as you do that, um, you can either say the word or feel the warmth, whatever way works for you, but breathing in something good for yourself. And then bringing the other person to mind. And as you breathe out, sending something good to them. So kindness, compassion, strength, whatever they need, you know. So compassion in for me, kindness out for you. In for me, out for you. And just feeling the movement of breathing in for me and out for you. And you can do this for as long as you want. Right now I'm gonna um, ask you to, to stop and open your eyes again. Um, and as we finish up, just remembering that you can use this practice when you're worried about someone, when you're concerned about them, when they're not there. So you're just visualizing them and getting that flow of breathing going in for me, out for you. 
and enables you to take care of both people. You're not abandoning yourself. Um, or you can actually even use it when you're in the middle of a difficult conversation, right in the moment. Breathing in some goodness in for you, some in for me, some for you, some for me. Keeping connected to both people. There's no abandonment at all. Okay, that's it for today. Have fun with this and have a good day. Bye for now.